Sedum, Autumn Joy, is an award-winning perennial plant and a mainstay in many of our gardens. This hardy perennial has a moderate growth rate, blooms in September through October in our area, and is hardy in zones 3 through 9. Sedum grows best in full sun and likes dry conditions, especially nice during our August dry season where it continues to do well without watering. There are hundreds of types of sedum. This one is Ruby Glow, a ground cover. There are even white, variegated sedum that grow to about three feet and look lovely when they're mixed in with the Autumn Joy sedum. You may have a whole garden section just planted with different types of sedum. They all look good together. I wanted to plant a low hedge around my center garden, but pruning hedges is not my favorite garden chore. So I chose Sedum Autumn Joy. It's the right height, it's easy to propagate, and very inexpensive. Each year, I would dig up the sedum plants and divide them into smaller bunches, eventually making a hedge around the whole garden. This is a very inexpensive way to make a hedge. You can even use this in your front yard along the sidewalk. This is the sedum hedge along one side of the garden. All the sedum used originally came from only one plant. You can see how the sedum has filled in. This picture was taken in August. The sedum hedge blooms in September, providing wonderful end of the year color. It attracts hundreds of bees and butterflies. This is how the sedum looks in November. The stalks have turned woody and the heads are dried to a rust color. They are a great addition to your dried winter arrangements and they need no further drying time if you leave them standing in the garden and cut them in November. And here is the best reason for growing a sedum hedge. They look beautiful with snow on them. I leave the sedum standing all winter and cut it in early spring. As you clean up the rest of the garden, it's really not a large chore to do. It beats pruning hedges. With the old stalks cut and cleared, this is how the sedum looks in early May when it first starts to come up for the season. Because the sedum hedge starts anew each year, if you have any damage or gaps, it is a simple matter of digging up the plants and dividing them yet again. Before investing in costly hedge material like boxwood, try a sedum hedge first and see how it looks. You can always replace it when you have more money. Sedum hedges cost very little to divide and propagate over a long period of time. As gardeners, sometimes it's fun to think out of the box, to try a new plant in a new design. Sometimes the results might surprise you.